Well, according to the definition in the syllabus, saturated compounds contain single bonds only, and unsaturated compounds contain double and triple bonds. But having looked through all 105 of those documents with 190 instances about what the IB actually believes about saturated and unsaturated, I'm going to change this definition. According to their exams, saturated compounds contain carbon-carbon single bonds only, and unsaturated compounds contain carbon-carbon double and carbon-carbon triple bonds. So what does that mean for you? Well, essentially, saturated compounds are the alkanes. Now, I would argue that you could also have the haloalkanes and alcohols there as well. But the IB up until now has focused on just the alkanes. And unsaturated, well, that's going to be the alkenes, carbon-carbon double bond, and the alkynes, carbon-carbon triple bond. So that begs the question, saturated with what? Well, it's actually hydrogen. If we take a look at the unsaturated compound ethene, I could actually add more hydrogen on if I wanted to. I could break this bond there and pop on a cheeky hydrogen and hydrogen. That's made ethane, an alkane, which is saturated. I can't add any more hydrogen to this. Well, you'd think maybe you could add another hydrogen here. No, 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 no. Because you're only allowed to have four bonds, and that is the fifth bond on carbon. Carbon can only have four. Have a crack at these, saturated or unsaturated. Well, alkenes are unsaturated. Alkynes are unsaturated. Alkanes are saturated. And this is a skeletal structure of an alkane, which just leaves this weird one here. Now, it's a condensed formula. I think you're going to have to draw it out to see what's going on. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work. This carbon here and there only have three bonds. So it must be a double bond here. So that makes it an alkene, which means it's unsaturated. Now, looking at the textbooks, they can't seem to decide what the definition is either. But I would say don't worry about ones like this because they've never come up. So don't worry about being asked, is this saturated or unsaturated? It does have a double bond, but it isn't a carbon-carbon double bond. Don't worry about it. What about this funky thing? Again, don't worry about it. The model of saturation and unsaturation breaks down with these examples in the IB, and they've moved on to what's called the index of hydrogen deficiency, which is a more complicated model to explain saturation. And we're done.